It's me, Kayvon, by far the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world, AKA the Iranian-American Brad Pitt. Many of you know that over the years I've toured, acted, shared the stage with thousands of celebrities. So I know better than anyone else that we're not that special. We're not elite. We simply have a really fun job that's in front of the camera, which is fine. But since celebrities have been looking down on Main Street America for so long, thinking they're elite and trying to lecture you on who you need to vote for, I thought it's only fair to be completely honest with you and let you know who celebrities really like better, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. So get ready. This is about to be a very exciting star-studded face-off. First, let's start with Donald Trump. A brilliant, charismatic, totally self-made billionaire who I believe will one day run this country. Both Donald Trump. You and the Donald yes. are very right. close. I, I won Celebrity Apprentice. Yes, you did. I, I was the first black person to win, so, so I'm like the Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Donald always says money can't buy happiness. He's always been a favorite of celebrities. Every single prominent person in the world, young and old, has hobnobbed with Donald Trump at some point in their life. Take a look. That includes presidents. Actors, comedians. Budget crunch for President Trump. Donald Trump took care of Jennifer Hudson's whole family after they experienced a tragedy. Now, for anyone who's ever called Donald Trump racist, he spent time with Rosa Parks winning the Ellis Island Award. How many racists have ever done that? Hmm. We know that, right? Nah, he's a terrific guy. We love him, and I'm here for him. People of note, talk show host. He wasn't the only person who took a special interest in you. <laughs> there was somebody else who saw you, and he's a very famous person, and he wanted to give you a present too. So watch this in the monitor. I don't know if you know who, who he is. Hi, Megan, my name's Donald, and you probably don't know me, but I was watching Maury's show the other day, and I must tell you, you really hit me right here. Uh, I think you are so beautiful, and both inside and out, I had a little something, a little gift that I gave to Maury, who's a friend of mine, and a very good golfer. Don't ever play him in golf. He's a very, very good believer. And I gave him a little gift for you, and I hope you and your mother have a good time with it, and you're very special, and you just keep it up and keep up that attitude. So good luck, and you stay in touch. So. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, he has his name on more buildings in New York City than any other person. And besides that, he is one of the most generous people I know. And he wants you and your mom to have a very special check. And, and when we talk about Donald Trump, when we, he gives out checks, we're not talking chump change here. So, look at that. Do you know how much that's for? Do you get all those zeros right? <laughs> Singers love Donald Trump. Even Homer Simpson rode the escalator behind Trump. But nobody loved Donald Trump more than rappers. A lot of people are calling me about the Mac Miller rap song. Yo, Ice, I did a concert in the White House. And after that, me and Donald Trump hung out. Beep was going off like Donald Trump gets checked. I'm talking Donald Trump. Bill Gates, Donald Trump, let me in. Yummy, young Donald Trump is y'all hearing me. Resurrection of the real time to get richer than Trump. But I take over the world when I'm on my Donald Trump. I'm a fire my blunt like Donald Trump. I'm holding a go course, hold on a trunk. The Donald Trump song just hit over 20 million. That's not so bad. I'm very proud of that. Almost every prominent rapper has applauded Donald Trump at some point in their songs. Oh, except for Nipsey Hussle, who had this to say. Oh, you build walls, we're gonna probably dig holes, and if your ass do win, you're gonna probably get smoked. Yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. After a lifetime of spreading hate, it looks like his life of crime, which he was trying to turn around, actually caught back up with him. Which is why you don't get involved in gang activity, drug dealing, and talking shit in the first place. Now, if Donald Trump was a fascist, he would have killed Nipsey Hussle himself, but he didn't. And who was he killed by? Not by Donald Trump, a fellow gang member from the BLM community. You know the one candidate who actually wanted to help Nipsey get out of that life of crime? Donald, Donald Trump. Trump! If you're the kind of person to be influenced by celebrities, why not pick the biggest and baddest of them all, world champion level fighters from boxing and the UFC. 
I think the Democrats are making a horrible mistake by putting in a he just had a, another huge stumble yesterday the man is ill I wish him no ill will. I'm not a, I'm not a, a Biden hater. Jimmy Kimmel pretends to hate Donald Trump now for his career, but this is how he felt about him before Trump was president. Well, I've ghostwritten a book that I put your name on, okay? Ooh. And it's called Winners Aren't Losers. <laughs> the dog is a loser, and frankly, I pity it. This dog did bad deals. This dog is an idiot. <laughs> Two kinds of people. Which one will you be? A loser like them? Would you like to finish? or a winner like me. <laughs> Donald Trump, everybody. Thanks for coming. We'll be right back with music from Gary Clark Jr. And of course, Jimmy Fallon had to apologize a thousand times for getting along with Donald Trump right before election. Check it out. The next time I see you, 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 you could be the president of the United States. I just wanted to know if there's something we could do that's just not presidential, really, or something that, that we can do now that we're just both civilians. Like... Can, like what? This is... Can I'm, I'm not liking the sound of this. <laughs> Go ahead. Can I mess your hair up? clear to see Donald Trump is a really great sport. Now let's look at the other side, the celebrities that hate Donald Trump. As you can see, they all have something in common. They kind of aren't looking that well mentally. They're having a lot of internal issues. What's ugly on the inside sometimes presents itself on the outside. Maybe they're getting older, bitter. They've become so desperate for their career, they're not even making sense anymore. Racist white woman. Listen to what this fool said. Oh. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweet. He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which, by the way, isn't a plan of Joe Biden's. It's yes, it is. That's that's a lie. No, it's not. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cents to 20 cents. And I had to remind him that he was a black person. So he can't vote for Donald Trump. They're doing odd things like taking off their clothes, getting naked, and begging you to vote for Joe Biden. I am completely butt ass naked. I'm naked. I'm like naked. Oh, what you thinking? You're thinking Ruffalo, um, put your clothes on. I'm here to talk to you about voting. And not to body shame anyone, but looking at some of these people naked does not make me want to do anything they're currently involved in. Me naked, on the other hand, <laughs> never mind. Not that celebrities matter, but it is odd that the Democrats base so much of their worth on it, yet their leader, Joe Biden, is reported to be noticeably light on real celebrity endorsements. You have to understand, this is a party that used the media to emphasize how much we all need to hate old white men for decades. And now, after four years of planning, the best they could come up with was an old white angry man. I just think it's wrong to take a guy that you clearly can tell is struggling. I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. <laughs> I tell you what, if I had the talent of any one of these people, I'd be, I'd be elected president by acclamation. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank That's you, right. thank you, thank you. Come on, man. Come on, Dems. It's no wonder their base isn't very thrilled. Probably the biggest celebrity right now in Biden's corner is Cardi B. We all know her as a giant intellect of our time. All right, so you know the government is taking 40% of my taxes and uncle sam like i want to know what you're doing with my f tax money because you know what i'm saying like when you donate like like when you donate to a kid from a foreign country i've always felt like cardi b is a little two-faced before and after makeup. You wanna talk about racism, here's one for you. When the founder of BET came out and complimented Donald Trump, the Democrats called him a coon, the N-word, Uncle Tom, a coconut, a race traitor, and more hateful slurs that only the left can feel comfortable saying in public. So you were giving the president an A-plus on the economy. Is that still your assessment today? Yeah, I still stand by that position. The African-American speaks up in a positive way about something good that the president is doing, that in itself is a story and not the facts. 
And so, yeah, if I were to say today again, hey, I think Trump is doing a great job, and they'd say, oh, my God, you know, a black man said this about Trump, and, you know, therefore, what's wrong with him? I do not see anybody in the Democratic primary races today that is enough in the center where I believe most of the voters are. And I particularly think where most of the African-American voters are. So why is it that celebrities are so concerned with virtue signaling their hate of Donald Trump today when they loved him for four decades? For one, they're scared they're never going to work again. Hollywood puts a ban on anyone who doesn't toe the party line. Regarding Dream Girl star Jennifer Holliday, who it sounds like is not going to perform at the inauguration at all now on Friday. Last Friday, her people called the inauguration committee on Saturday and said she can't do it because she's been getting death threats for her and her family. Me personally? I've decided to hell with it. My fans will come through for me and I'll see them at comedy shows when I go on tour. What do I care? Iranian American Brad Pitt. The other problem with celebrities is they are very arrogant. They were proven wrong in 2016 and that hurt their ego. Watch how wrong your favorite celebrities were in this hilarious montage. There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen. Donald Trump will not become president. He's not going to be president. He is not, Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Take it to the bank. Okay. I guarantee it. All right, all right. You think if he becomes the president here, make, make it great, because the states is already gone. I think that man will be president of the United States right about the time that spaceships come down filled with dinosaurs and red capes. I'm at no time. <laughs> Take it Thank from me. How about that? Yes, and then, of course, there's Donald Trump. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> do, do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. So when you stand and deliver that State of the Union address, in no part of your mind or brain can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skip. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. He will never be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> to Sorry to laugh. Next. Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs> And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president, all right? But, but, but come on, come on, buddy. All, let's say, cow poo poo aside, there is zero chance we'll be seeing you being sworn in on the Capitol steps with your hand on a giant golden Bible. Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Uh, ever respectful of the fact that the people have not voted, he's not going to be president of the United States. Let's be clear. Donald Trump will lose the election. I mean, he had a really good chance to be different and really have a chance to change things, but yeah. he, he doesn't do the work. He's lazy. We talk about him every day and we continuously he's bash him. He's not going to be the president. He... Don't worry about it. <laughs> exactly. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States, exclamation point, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. Our new NBC News survey monkey poll is out today. It puts Hillary Clinton up by 10 points over Donald Trump. And this is not the first poll since the conventions to give Clinton a double digit lead. This is actually the fourth four polls that have Clinton up by more than 10 points or at least 10 points. Donald Trump will have lost this election from the very first day he announced. If the numbers bear out what we're seeing thus far, Hillary Clinton will win Florida. And the delicious irony in this is that Donald Trump will have been kept from the White House by a big, beautiful brown wall.
And CNN projects Donald Trump will carry the state of Florida, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Mississippi, South Carolina, Alabama, Kansas with its six electoral votes, Nebraska with its five electoral votes, and Wyoming with its three electoral votes, North Dakota uh, with its three electoral votes, and South Dakota, Texas, Arkansas, he has now taken the lead. Donald Trump has 128 electoral votes. Louisiana, the state of Montana, Missouri, Ohio. He has 167 electoral votes compared to Hillary Clinton's 109. Idaho, North Carolina, Georgia, Iowa, Utah, Wisconsin, Arizona. Uh, but we should really just take a moment here and look at this. Holsters predicted that Hillary Clinton was going to have not just a victory, uh, but that she was going to win uh, an electoral landslide. Not only is that not happening, it is entirely possible that Donald Trump is truly redrawing the map the way that he said he was going to. It was Donald Trump versus almost all the experts, and as of right now, it looks like Donald Trump was right. Donald Trump has defeated Hillary Clinton to become president-elect of the United States. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. This is not the outcome we wanted or we worked so hard for. And I'm sorry that we did not win this election. I love this country. The shockwaves from Donald Trump's victory continue to be felt across America and around the world. Donald Trump wird der 45. Élu Donald Trump, président de l'élect Donald Trump. Everyone was wrong. The backlash begins. Some magazines are facing big embarrassments today. Newsweek had already shipped out this cover, Madam Secretary, but quickly had to change it to this, President Trump. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Because somebody stood up to them and told them no, their godlike opinion of themselves was diminished. So for the last four years, they have had an all-out campaign, not just against Donald Trump, but against you, the stupid American who hurt their feelings. You hurt their ego! How dare you! Will someone powder my nose? And I need my green juice. Now they'll tell you how to vote, but have celebrities ever really liked you in the first place? If you come to my comedy show, I make it a point to do a meet and greet with every single fan after the show. Sometimes the line after takes longer than the show itself. But try to approach your favorite celebrity. They don't want you to have the Second Amendment, but they'll have an armed guard put you in a chokehold and use the Second Amendment against you until the police arrive. So my whole thing is, why not deliver them one more blow to their incredibly fragile ego? And and then we'll have another hilarious reel to look back on. It's clear to me that Trump has a lifetime of celebrity support. He is the biggest celebrity himself, and Joe Biden only has support for the moment. How important are celebrities really? Let's say it's the holidays and your toilet is overflowing. Would you rather see Bob the plumber walk in through the door or Cardi B? <laughs> now get a bucket and a mop. She's just gonna make everything more wet. So we started this video with a false question. Who do celebrities like more? But the real question I should have asked, who do Americans like more? Well, the choice has been clear for decades, it's Donald Trump. Do you agree with me? Disagree? Argue about it in the comments. Make sure to call everybody racist, that's what you do on social media. And if you like this clip, wait till you see my stand-up comedy. I have 400 clips on youtube.com slash kvoncomedy. Subscribe. Or find me on Instagram, Facebook, and my website www.kvon.tv where you can order all my specials, t-shirts, books, and book me for an upcoming gig. That's all for today. I have to go take new headshots. Thanks for watching. Where's my green juice?